How well does the Ahsoka Tano action figure actually look like Rosario Dawson? I don't know. There's no window box. I hope she's in there. All right, let's find out with a bulk Mandalorian action figure review up next on PopCon. Welcome back to PopCon. I am your Generation 1 host, Victor, and I collect toys. Thanks for joining me as I try really hard to complete the toy collection behind me of my favorite franchises made famous in the 1980s, and that includes Star Wars. I choose to represent with my Jabba the Hutt Palace here with my Star Wars Vintage Collection, but sometimes a modern Star Wars story comes along that I absolutely love, and that, of course, being the Mandalorian. Absolutely so. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead now that I have both pieces of this set that I want to represent the Mandalorian with. Let's go ahead, open these, reveal them, and review. All right, so I have Mando here in his Beskar armor, and I have, of course, Ahsoka Tano and Grogu in the windowless box. <gasps> oh, well. Um, so I've had Mando before in the original look, but I really like the armor look a little better, so I'm excited about that. And I have had Grogu before in the floating bassinet, but I'm excited to see what this one uh, has in store for me, so I like to compare them as well. So I'll be comparing them all as I do, so let's get these open. Why don't we do it together? Let's do it! My Ahsoka Tano is my first windowless box of any character, and it, it looks great. I love all the photographs on the package, really entices me, especially these action figure action shots. Inspires me to do the same thing with all of my toys. So all the cover, the back, the sides, all different photographs, and on the back, you get a lot of pieces inside that you really hope is in there, because you can't see. By contrast, my Mandalorian upgrade action figures in the same packaging as most Star Wars vintage collection. The best car armor really uh, pops off of the card back, and I do like the image from the show they used reminiscent of the original toys. Well, now that we got the boxes out of the way, let's go ahead and open these. Um, I'm going to just tear right in. Like I said, I have an older one, the older version, but this one has the new armor. So we're going to peel that back as easy as they are to come loose. Um, so we pull them out of his plastic bubble case there. So he does have the uh, pistol that goes in his holster, which is wonderful. And you can already tell there's some armor changes to the original, which we'll compare up close in a moment. And this weapon here. Now, I don't know what it's called, but all I know is I, I love that it's an homage, of course, to the holiday special cartoon where you first meet Boba Fett. So, uh, boom, we'll pop him out of that and compare him a little bit late. Oh, there, I'll, I'll let you see him a little bit. Oh, no, there it goes. So, anyway, we'll be seeing him up close in a minute. Let's open the other one. I dropped something on the ground. Hold on. All right. Now, this is the first time I've had any sort of windowless box, but I am just going to open this up. There's some great imagery. We saw it already, so we're going to pop this open and... Get a look at Ahsoka Tano. I, I'm really excited just even having that owl figure and to compare, oh my goodness, this tape. So, oh, very interesting. All right, here we go. So, <laughs> uh, what I love already is this one uh, has the cloak. So you see Ahsoka with her cape on. And this little thing here must be the accessories. So I quickly look in the box just to make sure, yes, there's nothing left in the box. So we're, and we are gonna go ahead and get these guys open. You see, the, oh, it's great. It's just little tissue paper. You're gonna see, so if you get yourself one, you're gonna see that she is bound in the cardboard there. And then you're gonna just untape the tissue paper. And it is just folded tissue paper. And you kind of open it up. And you've got, wow, okay. You've gotta be very, very gentle with this stuff because you of course have uh, a lightsaber. You have Grogu. You have uh, the owl bird. I don't want to call it an owl. They're obviously not from Earth or anything. There is... Oh my goodness. Okay. I think it's her lantern. These are teeny. Of course, because Ahsoka is a double yielding... Double lightsaber yielding kind of a Jedi there. There's the other one. And then some teeny thing... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what these are. I don't know. I shall find out and show you. Up close. It's time for Carousel. Well, would you look at her? Here is Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian, and we'll get to comparing uh, her to Rosario Dawson in just a minute, but let's look at this new figure that came with a Grogu uh, in its cape. I think in The Mandalorian, we see her appear first mysteriously in this cape, and it looks like a rag, doesn't it? It just looks like a ripped up piece of rag. Now, it's probably very flimsy, but it is a nice addition. See her, uh, also her dual uh, lightsabers here. Now I've got the hood down so we can get a better look at her face. Also the parts here, uh, she comes with a lantern and two, what I can only think are the little like um, shift 
the shift gear ball that uh, Grogu likes to play with from the Razor's crest. So here is the Grogu that comes with her as well as the bird that she has on her arm. And of course we look at the, the wonderful uh, articulation of this character from ankle to knee to calf to thigh. There's so much they can do, but they do have little itty bitty feet, which makes it very difficult to always stand. So I use a lot of action figure um, putty. Now here it is again. Now this, this Grogu's hands don't go down. It's in perpetual like, give me, hold me. But here I have the other Grogu I got separately, who's a little bit bigger and goes in the floating bassinet. It also comes with the amphibian. So very cute. And this one's arms do go up and down. Their heads both move. Now I will tell you this about my new one. The head pops off constantly, just constantly pops off. So you gotta be a little careful. But um, the smaller version is cute in their hands, but the larger version of the amphibian go with this in the um, bassinet. So there's a little comparison about the Grogu's that I have, and that Grogu in the bassinet came with this. The original Mandalorian is his original armor. Uh, it has the pistol, it has the larger rifle, but you can see kind of the more beat up original armor that Mando wore. Um, and I'm showing this off because this was... Uh, my first figure uh, before I got the new one, which I am about to go to now. Of course, you got the upgraded armor, and now I have a Grogu through the Ahsoka Tano. So let's just take a look at how those compare. So here he is, and of course, as cute as any father could be, and he's like one of the best dads ever, right? Uh, Mandalorian holding Grogu in his hands. Grogu, of course, wants to be with his daddy. Um, you can see the armor is different. It's not just a repaint. Thank God there are different shoulder armors. There is um, obviously the jetpack, a major addition to it. There is some repaint, but also his um, his gauntlets on his wrists, the new weapons that he attained from the armorer, uh, the Mandalorian armorer. She created this new uh, armor for him and these weapons. So it's worth noting that on the right shoulder armor, you'll see the emblem, that animal that he had defeated early in the series, uh, the emblem that is burned into his armor. Let's take a comparison between the movie and the action figure here. Ah, look at this. Okay, let's take a look at the close-up of Ahsoka Tano, this figure. You can tell already that that technology they use, the photo real tech from Hasbro, it came in 2017. Right now, you know how good this is of Rosario Dawson. And there's a lot of talk out there about the head, um, the headpiece of the character um, and how it's best in live action, how it compares to her in Rebels and Clone Wars. Either way, Rosario does a good job and Hasbro did a fantastic job of really getting uh, the likeness there. It's beautiful and you really see it and it really makes it all come home in full circle and love having it on my shelf. And I will admit, if you look closely right now, you can see that there's some paint application problems, especially on the arms and the gloves area. I forget that. Well, I'm certainly not going to forget to compare my Mandalorian, of course not. So here he is, the new version with the Beskar armor. Um, love to point out that uh, he's holding Grogu great. Now the original one I had has the one in the bassinet who's a little bit bigger. You can see the obviously changes in the armor, the overall look, and it really pops. He looks dynamic as a soldier. There is a teeny bit of difference in the rifle as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with this old one. I don't know. Make it into action figure art. I could. So when you look up here, you know which one you want. You want the new one and that's what I got because they go so great together. Um, Ahsoka and Mando together just like in the show looking for that next season where we get a little bit more of that time together but of course we got to wait for Ahsoka's show as well to see a little bit more of action from her well I've got them right next to Jabba's palace right there and my Star Wars collection is looking really good and nearly complete what I would love is if they would make a Mandalorian specific Luke Skywalker wouldn't that be awesome how about you have you collected any of the new toys that are in windowless boxes what do you think I mean everything was complete in mine and let's be honest, Rosario Dawson, that action figure, were like doppelgangers. It was excellent. So love looking at the toy and going, I know exactly who that is. So I was really happy about that. Plus, I'm really happy with the pieces as a whole. Hope you enjoyed the comparison. Hope you enjoyed the reveal and the review. And if you did, show me some love by clicking like. And while you're there, also click the subscribe. Share with your friends. Make comments. Who's up next? We've got a few. Is it Rocketeer? Is it Gizmo from Gremlins? Or is it Chitara from the Thundercat Ultimates? Come back and see it, PopCon. Until next time.